And we are partnering with Refinery29's Money Diaries, their series that profiles anonymous women who write about their financial journey through the course of a week. Our powerhouse team is back, Tiffany Alice, Carly Whitwell, and from Refinery29, and of course, our Rebecca Jarvis. Were we on a group chat or something? Were you left out of the group chat? <laughs> this is or, wild. Yeah, and you almost wore. I almost wore orange, but I did not yeah, want to iron. Okay, but I got a little green in it here yes. for you. <laughs> well, we welcome back. We are selecting one budget each day. Yesterday, you heard from a woman from Ohio who was hoping to rebuild her savings. Now, let's go ahead, right behind us, open up this morning's diary, and we have an attorney at a nonprofit from the DMV area. Her salary is $82,000 a year. And what stands out to you, Carly, about this diary? So much, Robin. So mm -hmm. she's 29 years old. Like you said, she's an attorney. She makes $82,000 a year, but that's from her role. But also she has two side hustles as well. And during this week, she has a really fun week. Actually, she comes to Times Square for a day trip to Manhattan for her birthday. Oh. Yeah, she's also experiencing some debt. She has about $200,000 in student debt, $30,000 car loan, and then about ten dollars to $11,000 in credit card debt. Now that last amount is the lowest amount, but it's the highest interest rate, which I know Rebecca will have something to say about 27% interest rate. Ooh, the credit yeah. card. My favorite part about this week, though, is she takes an acting class just for herself, just for fun, and she uses her money from her side hustle in order to pay for it. And according to R29 Intelligence, which is our insights group at R29, 50% of women are giving up these sort of social experiences during the cost of living mm. crisis. So it was nice to see her take some time for yeah. herself while also still paying down her debt. And I love how detailed these diaries oh. are. And, and uh, Tiffany, you're going to help here because in the diary she says, I worry about my credit card debt a lot. I have a lot of school loans as well, but that doesn't worry me as much. I'd like to eliminate the credit card. So when you hear these different pockets of debt, how do you know where to get that shovel out and start digging out? Well, ideally, Robin, you really want to focus on the debt that has the highest interest rate first. That's your most expensive debt. So she really should worry because 27% mm. is quite high. Student loan debt is typically well under 10%. Okay, so let's deconstruct the debt. Debt here. How do you go about doing that? So number one, debt. gonna make a list of all of your debt, who you owe, how much it costs, so you can start to create a plan to pay it down. Right? Mm -hmm. Then number two, consider something like a balance transfer card. This is when you transfer your balance from one card to another. Ideally the interest rate is much less. Understanding that there may be a fee, do a little math, make sure it makes sense. Okay. Third thing, ask for help. If your credit score is decent, you can actually get a lower interest rate assigned to you if you have a decent credit score. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, student loan Ooh. debt programs. The last four years, about $170 billion for 5 million borrowers have already been forgiven. So you're gonna go to studentaid.gov slash debt relief to see if there's a program that applies to you. Okay, because so many people are yes. affected by this. Mm -hmm. And this is what I love about Refining 29 in the diaries. It's about community. Yes. It's about yes. community. And we see this with this diary as well. And to know that when it comes to student loans, you're not, a, you're not, a, you're not alone out you're there. You're not alone with student loans, no. Robin. Yeah, there's $1.75 trillion right now in outstanding student loan debt. The number has actually come down a little bit since 2023, but you talk about her balance, that mm -hmm. big $200,000 student loan balance. One million people have a federal balance of more than $200,000, and I totally agree with the budgetista. You have to think through where you're paying the highest interest rate. So she's targeting the credit card mm -hmm. debt first, but that $200,000 number sitting right there, psychologically it doesn't feel good to see such a big number, so she's gonna wanna work on that next. Okay, so how do you work on that student loan? Okay, so first of all, set up automatic payments. Okay, if you set up automatic payments on your student loan debt, mm -hmm. The lender will lower, in many cases, the interest rate that you are paying on that student loan by 0.25%. And if it's a big loan, like $200,000, we're talking about hundreds, potentially even thousands of dollars in savings. Second of all, if you are facing hardship, the budgetista also pointed this out, make sure you go to studentaid.gov look there because there's great great information on that website for you and then finally if you're in a position mm -hmm. to prepay any of this just do it 
put, for example, you get a tax refund, put that tax refund towards paying off the debt yeah. because you can very quickly then not face some of these interests and possibilities. I mean, you could also spend it on an acting class, which could be fun too, but mm -hmm. maybe you split it up and do a little in both places. Okay, why not? Why not yeah. do something like that? And you get like, what, like a million views on these pages? A month. Like, a a month. month. There's Reddit dedicated to it. You should go to the comments. The comments are just as engaging mm -hmm. as the diaries. Is there a common theme that you're seeing throughout the diaries a little bit or no? There's a little bit of that voyeuristic element, but also people really chime in and help each other. We once had someone, they, they did a GoFundMe for a diarist who their roof was like crashing in and wow. they did a GoFundMe mm -hmm. and they don't know these people. They're completely anonymous. Yeah. So there's a really strong sense of community. And it's about being on a budget. Yeah, it's budget really stuff, It right? really is. Your budget is the foundation for the rest of your life. Your budget tells your money what to do through you. Mm -hmm. You love <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm saying that. I but do. it's so, but it's so powerful when you write it down. When you really see what you are using your money for, spending for, and finding those acting classes, finding those things to reward yourself with. Okay. We got it. We got it. Some <laughs> great info from our powerhouse team. You can have a closer look at this money diary and others at Refinery 29's website, and we'll see everyone tomorrow for another entry. You gotta, you gotta get on the group chat and get the right color going. <laughs> tomorrow. You're gonna be wearing I'm an orange tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to something different. Thank you so much.